What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mod Squad Network's Layeth the Squad Down. I am your host, Kevin. Joining me, as always, is Steve. What's going on, everybody? How we well, doing? Or should I say Mr. Everett Scott? I mean, you can call me whatever you like. I mean, in the world of professional wrestling or here, I go by many names. I wear multiple hats. Uh, yeah, man. Made, uh, made my return to the ring last night, referee form. Uh, for SoCal Pro Wrestling for the 16-year uh, anniversary show. You can go check that out on YouTube, SoCal Pro Wrestling. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? Oh, doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. It's a really good show, everybody. I watched it live last night on YouTube, uh, streaming. It, really good show. Um, you get to see this guy make his return in a very dramatic way, if I may add. Yeah, man. I come, I come flying to the ring to make that three count. That's right. You sure do. But in the form of WWE and AEW wrestling, which is what this show is really all about, let's go ahead and kick this off with Raw, shall we? That's how I like it. <laughs> well, baby, I like it, Raw. Maybe I yeah, like it, Raw. I like it, Raw. <laughs> <laughs> Rey Mysterio came out. To a great ovation. He talked about um, what a crazy year it's been for him with a feud with Dominic. That took all of a couple minutes for his son to arrive with a response. Blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, the rest of the uh, Judgment Day Judgment Day came out. And it ended up being a match between Rey Mysterio and Finn Balor. I don't know why I say I like saying Finn Balor, Balor like that, but a Balor. <laughs> I mean, like a Dr. Evil or something. <laughs> but uh, Finn right. Balor gets the win in this match, actually. Right. So, was that? Sorry, I don't speak freaky deaky Dutch. <laughs> Finn Balor picks Balor. up <laughs> All right, we get Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus versus Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez because Lita was discovered backstage after being attacked by an unknown assailant. So Trish takes over and takes her place to take on you know, the Raquel, other two. Raquel and Liv. Yeah, it was a pretty good match, but Trish eats the pin and we have new women's tag team champions, Liv and Raquel Rodriguez. Um, Trish is like, I don't know what happened. I'm sorry. And Becky's like, it's okay. Uh, 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 whatever. Whatever. It's not like it was a singles belt. Yeah. So uh, they start to walk off. And then Trish attacks. Oh, my God. That Becky. was the worst attack from behind I have ever seen. Shut your mouth. Trish can do no wrong. <laughs> hey, believe me, stratisfaction is guaranteed, but that was one of the worst attacks from behind. I it was. Seen. You could see it coming a mile away. You could definitely see it coming a mile away. But I I kinda I kinda I kinda like that, to tell you the truth. Uh next we have Bobby Lashley versus Bronson Reed. This was a hard hitting contest that I can see going on for a while, this feud. And as as it should, because this was a double count out. Yep. And man, these two bohemoths in the ring just pounding on each other. Wait, that don't sound right. But these two just going crazy in the ring. Uh, I love it. I love this type of match. I love a hard hitting match. You can have your kicks and flips. Give me some beasts just beating each other down. That's what I, I that enjoy. One. That one right there, that one right there. No, no kit, no flips. Just just fists. Yes. Yes. I like it. But this was a double count out. Um I, I I'm looking forward to what comes of this in the future, actually. Then we have Cody Rhodes came out to the ring to give a promo about how he lost that mania. He apologizes, gave an impassionate speech about this. Uh, about how this is just a bump in his road. Then he moved on to Brock Lesnar about how he is scared of Brock Lesnar, but he still wants to fight Brock Lesnar. 
which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Can of. we can we just finish the story? Yeah, I'm I'm ready for the story to be finished now. I mean, I was a huge Co- Cody fan. I wanted him to win the belt, and then he lost. Come on, dude, just finish the story. Uh, get it done. Get it done. Then we have the Usos took on the Alpha Academy in one of the first post-championship appearances since losing the titles to Sami Zayn and KO. It was a good match. Alpha Academy put in work. Like, I, like, I, I like they do. Oh, man. Alpha Academy is one of the best tag teams on the roster. They need a boost, even though they lost to the Usos. What they need to do is they need to resplit the tag belts. I, I agree. I agree. I, I, I can't wait for that to happen. I hope that's what happens in the draft. I really hope that's what we'll, happens. We'll see. But then we got EO Sky versus Piper Niven versus Mia Yim. EO Sky getting the win over Mia Yim. Which... So, so we have to say, and I should have realized this, I just realized it when you when you announced this match. A lot of this card was changed last minute. At the beginning of the show, they did announce that a lot of the superstars and talent were not there because of travel issues. Yeah. So this match that happened as a triple threat, I believe was originally supposed to be a women's tag team match. And, and or it was a singles they got. It wasn't originally supposed to be a triple threat. But there was travel traveling issues. Yeah. Um, I don't understand that. And uh <clears throat> yeah. I will say I do like the fact that they're setting up something with um damage control, like uh oh, Bailey yeah, we- came out of the office saying, you know, she she got a triple threat match, and uh they're like, No, it sh- should be one of us. And uh Bailey's like, all right, well, um, I'll, I'll go talk to Adam again, see if I can get one of you in. Yeah. And I think it's so dumb. I don't want them to split up damage control. There's, they they brought in this great ruling group, and they had the belts on on Sky and Kai, mm-hmm. and they, oh my god, like, oh, Bailey should have been holding the belt just because Bianca is undefeated at WrestleMania doesn't mean that she has to defend a belt at wrestlemania it's fine for her to lose the belt she should have lost the belt to bailey damage control should have been the reigning the 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 the, the, oh it it annoys me so much i can't talk uh should have been the just the the force in raw for the women's division like they fucked things up so bad with that in my opinion they're a joke right now i think damage control is a joke right now and they they were a really like demanding force to be reckoned with and like I said, like I predicted earlier, I think Eos Guy is going to be the breakout star of that group. Other than Bailey, uh, between the two, Dakota Kai and Eo, I think Eo is going to be. And the which breakout. is a real shame because Dakota's really talented, but so, you know she injured herself, and mm-hmm. and injuring yourself always puts a hindrance in the in the talent that you are. So this is true. Next, we have the main event: Kevin Owens versus Solo Sokoa, and. Uh, Oh, man. The Usos were at ringside. Sam, Sami Zayn was in, unable to be at the show, so Owens had the odds stacked against him before he even got to the ring. So uh, after Solo, Sokoa got a cheap shot with some interference from the brothers, Solo gets the win. And this is one of the lamest. I understand people are, are are you know, the, the I understand the weather thing. But Mm -hmm. Kevin Owens is getting beat down, and they're like, oh, what's that in the back? And they cut to the back, and, like, from the back ramp, (laughs) Sami Zayn and Matt Riddle are just booking it. Yeah. Yeah, they're booking it because they And then I don't understand why when when someone's getting a beat down, you shouldn't have to play someone's theme. That's true. They should just come running straight out. Like, they hit Sami's music. It's. Because they started a little beatdown on uh, Kevin Owens, and then uh, uh, oh, there's Sammy and Bro for the for the save. Yeah, Perfectly so timed, cool. by the way. Perfectly timed. <laughs> and it's, they should have just silly. beat KO down without the save. It's silly. Yeah. All right, but that's it for Raw. So we're just gonna go ahead and go right into SmackDown. 
The undisputed tag team champions, KO and Sami Zayn, kicked off the, the night show with a promo where they recap WrestleMania, of course. The Usos showed up with a verbal back and forth, and um, the Bloodline teased a three-on-two physical uh, altercation before Matt Riddle shows up and uh, just a little, just a little in and out kind of, kind of uh, beat down. You know, everybody gets their shot in, and then the Bloodline go back to the back. That's that's how that went. Then we have Xavier Words versus L A Knight. Yeah, yeah. Let me talk to you. <laughs> yeah. I am, I am really enjoying this rivalry. I yeah. I liked it. Uh, Xavier Woods, since everybody from the New Day is injured, um, is finally getting a good push as a singles competitor well, they did that when when they had him one king of the ring and then they gave him that silly king gimmick exactly no one the king gimmick uh, is horrible the only person to ever really go with the king gimmick is king booker i think it's true it's true yeah owen was a pretty but, good king though yeah he really he was um we bear it probably a second close behind uh king booker oh i got some bad news for you <laughs> but uh this 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 was a good match as well i i, I love la knight in the ring i love yeah. i love him on the mic um of course everybody knows xavier woods is good on both as well but uh woods defeated knight kevin 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 ask me ask me if i like la knight do you like la knight yeah <laughs> uh, it, it's just so funny <laughs> i love doing that let so me talk to you Santos Escobar versus Damian Priest. Um, yeah, I, I I'll be honest, I don't remember much of this match. Um, but I Priest don't, I don't de- remember it at all. Yeah, Priest defeated Escobar in this one, so Boo. as you should. No, I, not as he should. Yes, as you no, should. No, Escobar is much such. Oh my God, Escobar, Escobar is very is talented. Better. Don't get me He's wrong. More Escobar is very talented. He's the son of a legend. Okay, what legend? Fantasma. Oh, he is. I didn't realize that. He came in. He came into NXT as hijo de is as el hijo de Fantasma, and and when when he became Esco Santobar or Santos Escobar, he took off the mask, and that's when they formed the the whole group. They did uh, a whole thing with uh, Ro- Rockstar Spud. Okay, so I don't remember any of that. That was all NXT because that's NXT. Yeah. That's yeah. what I do. I watch so much wrestling. No, no, no. You see, that's the thing. Uh, he, he's, he's hijo de fantasma. Like his father is an absolute lucha legend. Like who the f is Damian Priest? What the hell yeah, does but... his father do? No, no, no. Escobar is by far the better wrestler. He is. He is more technically sound. He is faster. The only thing that Priest has on him is size, size. And, that, and that should not. And 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 I know I say all the time how like Darby Allen shouldn't be beating guys like twice his size. Here's the thing: you look at the size of Escobar, you look at the size of Priest. I guarantee Escobar is thicker. I guarantee uh, yeah. he's got more muscle. And that right there, only by a couple inches, should be the deciding fact. I do not like Damian Priest. That is also what this primarily. I didn't like Damian Priest when he was yeah. in NXT. I didn't I like, like Damian. Damian I didn't like Damian Priest when he moved to Raw. I don't like Damian Priest in the Judgment Day. I just don't really care for Damian Priest in general. So, I have. I, there are. So you're saying you hate priests? I don't. Hey, no, 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 no. I dislike dislike priests. Okay. <laughs> as long as they don't touch me, I don't care. I get it. And as far as Damian Priest is concerned, he should just stay out of the ring. Uh, next, we get a championship celebration. And the first appearance is winning the Women's Tag Team Championship by defeating Trish Stratus and Becky Lynch. We get Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan celebrating their win until Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green interrupt them. Daddy. This was a, uh, a brief little verbal exchange. Until uh, this was uh, until a brawl between the two broke out with the champion standing tall. Of course. Yeah. So this was nothing. It was just a thing. But then, then something important happened. 
we get the return of Shinsuke Nakamura versus okay. Madcap Moss. Get the f- out of here. Come <laughs> on. I'm so, I'm not going to lie. I didn't watch SmackDown. Like, I didn't get my login for Hulu in time. And I, you get me so excited, the return of Shinsuke Nakamura. <laughs> I'm, like, so excited. Then you're like, Madcap Moss. I'm like, come on. Come oh, on. Yeah. Yeah. But, of course, Shinsuke gets the win. But he's back. He's back. Come on. He's back. He should have been a little bit more dramatic, but yeah, he's back. And now we have the main event of the night. Mad, not Matt, see, I keep saying Mad Cap. Matt Riddle Bro. versus Solo Sokoa. See, I'm saying it right now. You are. I, I wasn't going to say anything. I wasn't going to jinx it. I have no. <laughs> uh, Sokoa defeats Riddle. Boo! Yeah. Uh, look, if you've already pinned Sokoa, he deserves to take more more losses now. If you've it. already beat him on the build up to Cody's loss at Mania, it's it, you can you can pin, start pinning Sokoa now. I That's don't my know. opinion. I don't know. But uh, that is it for SmackDown. Steve, what do we have for some AE dubs? Oh man, AEW. We have some good ones. We have some some not so good ones. Uh we started Dynamite with Darby Allen. Uh I'm gonna start calling him Derpy Allen. That's a Derby. good one. I like that. <laughs> Derpy Allen. Derpy Allen versus Swerve Strickland. Uh it is a good back and forth. Unfortunately, Derpy picks up the win. Yeah. Um we get Orange Cassidy versus Buddy Matthews for the international championship. And I once again am pleading to the wrestling gods and Tony Khan, because I know, I know Tony, you, you listen, you watch the show. You, I know you, you watch do. the monster. Everybody watches the monster. Everybody monster. watches lay at the squad down. Um, Please just get the belt off orange. Um, even though Buddy is uh, the the trio's champion, you one hundred percent could have put the international belt on him, and yes. it would have been fine. Uh, please get the belt off Orange Cassidy. I I'm tired of the gimmick at this point. Um, I, I'm not tired of the gimmick. I'm tired of the way he keeps winning. He there's no way he should be beating taking... the people that he's beating. Yeah. There's, I mean, in the way, he, yeah, in the he way should. he's winning, I've seen him eat a lead pipe. I've seen him freaking take a, take a golden the, globe. Yeah, take a golden globe to the head, and still kick out. No, it's it's Orange Cassidy. It's not freaking Hulk Hogan hulking up. Okay. Yeah, uh, and I just I, uh, he should have lost the belt to Jarrett. That's that's where I think he should have dropped it. Um, I'm so tired of Orange Cassidy. He obviously picks up the win. Um, we get, uh, Ethan, uh, all ego, Ethan page in the mm-hmm. ring, cutting a promo, uh, saying, I want to know what was on the contract. Hardy, get on out here. Bring Isaiah, Jeff, mm-hmm. Har- uh, Matt Hardy and Isaiah come walking on out and Matt goes, uh, I'll tell you what was on that contract. I get to pick the next match between you and me. If we win, if I win. Me and Isaiah, the private party, we're no longer under the control of the firm. And they get in the ring and, and he goes, we're not under the control of you or, or Stokely Hathaway mm-hmm. and we're free of your reign. And Ego Page goes, well, you know, there's more than just me and me and Stokely in the firm in which we get uh, Big Bill and Lee Moriarty uh, hitting the ring, jumping both uh, Matt Hardy and Isaiah. So... Uh, Anytime they say Big Bill, are you expecting like a big bullet just to be floating by the screen or something? Because that's what I think of. That is hilarious. No, <laughs> I never, you know what? I'm not even going to lie. I didn't, I didn't even associate that just because I did this bullet bill for me. Like, I know, but I never thought of it like that. No, 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 no. Never even, nope, didn't cross my mind. That's funny. Now, now I will envision a big, a big, a big bullet, bullet with a bullet smiley bill. face. Just, Evil smiley just, face, yeah. just crossing. That's funny. Um, in which uh, they're getting all beat down. In which we get the return of Jeff Hardy, and he <laughs> did not. He did not. He did not dance going down to the ring this time. He just got <laughs> straight down to it. Um, and yeah, we get we get the return of Jeff Hardy. Um, 
the Blackpool Combat Club comes out to take on Brandon Cutler uh, Mm -hmm. and Michael Nakazawa. Uh, Everybody bleeds before the match even starts. They they have both Cutler and Nakazawa uh, just bleeding profusely with crimson masks. Um, Of course, the Blackpool Combat Club picks up the win. Uh, I want to say at that point we get a promo from uh, Kenny Omega. Uh, to the Blackpool Combat Club. Uh, um, it was no. either that or it's after the next match. It was somewhere there around there. It was no. We get uh, oh, somebody. I think Ken, no. Kenny Omega cuts a promo from yeah. his house. It's fine. yeah, yeah. He. I think they said they took out you know the black, the the boys and yeah. Kenny Omega. And he says him. he says the problem that I have right now yeah. is the Blackpool Combat Club. Yeah. Um, Rio and Sky Blue take on Ruby Soho and Tony Storm, uh, in which Tony Storm pins uh, Sky Blue, mm-hmm. and then I, the. I what? will say I'm becoming what? a big fan of Sky Blue though, big fan of Sky Blue. That's that's why that's a that's. That's why it's because she sticks her tongues out and has this cute little smile. She, it's funny. It's funny because they they just took that girl that was also had the skateboarding gimmick on NXT and they just turned her heel. I can't think of her name, but it's essentially like the evil and good same side. With, yeah, yeah, yeah. They they were the same person and they made one of them heel. Um, and the main event of Dynamite, we get the returning Limitless Keith Lee uh, taking on uh, Chris Jericho. The, the platinum look, Keith Lee. Bro, Keith Lee looks like a wrestling Uncle Phil. And I cannot, I want one scene of him throwing <laughs> Isaiah Cassidy out of a building like DJ Jazzy Jeff. Tony, oh. I know you listen to the show. Please have a clip of limitless Keith Lee like Uncle Phil throwing Isaiah Cassidy out of a building ah. like DJ Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> That's all I want. That's all I want. And then you're gonna have Stokely Hathaway, uh, Stokely like like Jeffrey. Oh, pardon me, sir. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, you're you're totally right. I I know, bro. I love I love Keith Lee. I love that Keith Lee is back. Um, he's big, but like he's he's not. He doesn't look like obese. He looks fucking like firm. Thick. Like, yeah, thick. Thick. He's a, like thick, yeah, like he's, a thick he's like. One. Like, yeah. like he's got just nothing but fucking muscle. Yeah. Um. Uh. Did Jericho being Jericho? Boo. Yeah. F that guy. Uh. Dirty deeds done dirt cheap, and Jericho picks up the win. Uh. With that, much like la- the week before, where Adam Cole defeated Daniel Garcia, and Jericho came out and checked on Garcia and walked away without looking. Adam Cole comes walking out to check on Keith Lee. Because you know it's all about the boom. (laughs) Adam Cole, baby. Uh, And they walk away, which which I think is super funny because now everyone online, because right before Keith Lee and Adam Cole left uh, the WWE, it was rumored that they were going to move Cole up to Raw to be Keith Lee's manager. Ah. And so everyone is like, oh, look, look, look. They see the talent. Adam Cole being Keith Lee's manager. Um, I really enjoyed uh, Lee versus Jericho. That would probably be, uh, for those, that would probably be my match of the night only because I'm annoyed with with Orange Cassidy. But the Orange Cassidy-Buddy Matthews match was actually also very good. Um, Rampage, short and sweet, four matches. Aussie Open uh, going up against best friends for the IWP, uh, IWGP Tag Team Championships. Uh, Aussie Open, of course, picks up the win. Uh, there was an eight-man tag in which we have uh, Jay Briscoe, Jay Lethal, Jeff Jarrett, and Satnam Singh with Sanjay Dutt taking on Man Scout, Jake Manning, the Spanish announced project of Angelico, Luther, and Sir Pentico. Uh, I like this little gimmick they're doing right now uh, with Jay Briscoe joining the team. Uh, they they had this funny little gimmick in the back where they give Mark a shirt where they're like, it's eight man tag, baby. And it's it's Satnam and it's Sanjay and it's Lethal and it's Jarrett. And then way down on the bottom of the shirt where you tuck it in is Mark Briscoe. <laughs> um and Satnam goes for the Satnam goes for uh, a big move, and Mark goes, "Ah, uh-uh, buddy, not today, no way." Tags him, gives him the big elbow, uh, picks up the win over Jeff Manning. 
uh, or Jake, Jeff Manning, Jake Manning. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I really like Mark Briscoe. I like everyone. Basically, I like everyone that was in that match. Everyone in that match is super entertaining. Um, Emi Sakura takes on Taya Valkyrie, uh, in which Taya picks up the win with fly, with uh, Flight of the Valkyries. I, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, Jade Cargill, of course, comes on out, ends up hitting uh, Taya with the move as well, because that's, that's Jade's finishing move as well. Uh, and then we get our main event, which I'm not going to lie. I and unfortunately... also like the glam slam, same, same move. Same thing. Yeah. Uh, I unfortunately didn't get to watch the main event. Uh, the way DVR is, uh, F the NBA, uh, <laughs> because they just, they're like, whatever, we're just going to go as long as we want. And then we're going to give like stupid post-match interviews that no one gives a shit about uh, when we could just play, be playing our regularly scheduled program of professional wrestling, which uh, I care more about than NBA. Right. Uh, so it got cut off right as Sean Spears was about to enter. Uh, I do know that Jack Perry ended up, uh, picking up the win over Sean Spears. Uh, I'm going to try and go find that match online. If not having to watch it on like, uh, on demand, cause they do have that on the streaming service I have. Um, I was very excited to see Sean Spears come back to the ring. I've always been a, a big fan uh i went to the last live nxt show before he went and moved up to smackdown um okay so i know that he just recently he was gone because him and his uh his wife um one of the uh i forgot her name the the iconics um no, uh, not oh, billy, he's married to one of the iconics not billy k the other one okay uh yeah they just had a baby and oh. so uh, he was coming back for that. Uh, for me, match of the night uh, is going to be Keith Lee versus uh, Chris Jericho. Oh, okay. Very cool. Do you have a match of the week? Keith Lee versus Chris Jericho. Okay. I think I'm – you may not like it, but I'm going to go, go to the Darby Allen match. I know. It's okay. <laughs> Derby. That, His name is Derby. Derby Der Allen. Derby Allen match. Yes. Derby. Derby. Derby Allen. All right, that does it for this week in wrestling. Layeth the squad down. Uh, Steve, where can people find you on your podcast? Sorry. The last podcast you'd want. It's uh, available on every major podcasting outlet. Uh, except, I think, Spotify. I tried to look it up on Spotify last night. Someone did, and uh, maybe their phone was just being dumb. I don't know. Uh, also available on YouTube. Uh, tip the veal, try the staff. Thank you all for coming. And if you didn't, better luck next time. All right. Make sure you check out our sponsor this month. It is V Ghost on Etsy. That is V E E V E E Ghost, all one word on Etsy to check out her stuff. She has some great uh, bedazzled masks. And uh, earrings, so go check that out. Uh, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Go check out V Ghost on Etsy. That's V E E G H O S T. V Ghost on Etsy. Oh, I love the announcer voice. I love it. <laughs> Make sure you check out Back to the Retro Review, which is my personal channel where I review movies from the 80s and 90s with this guy. Also, check out the Horror Show, the Movie Talk Monday show. The Gamer Show, uh, and we go and check out our lives every Saturday night where we do a giveaway right here on the Mod Squad Network. All right, Steve, that does it for this episode. So, for Steve, I am Kevin saying, keep on wrestling, everybody. Bruh.